Hello everybody, welcome to The Daily Grateful. Today is Father's Day, and the video that I'm about to do um, is going to be a little bit more somber than most. If you've uh, read the title and <laughs> seen the, uh, the card for this one, then the thumbnail for this, then you'll probably kind of guess where this is going. But uh, <clears throat> figure it's something that needs to be made anyways, and so here we go. Today's gratitude requires a little bit of a backstory, and it's not going to be too long. It's not going to be particularly happy, but um, at the end, I, I draw a sort of positive conclusion out of it. So please bear with me. So let me set the scene. I am much younger. I am maybe uh, probably around eight or nine years old, maybe a little bit younger. That would make my sister you know, <clears throat> six or seven years old, and my mom got a phone call. It was from my father. And he told her that he was going to be coming up fishing with some friends and he would stop by and see us. Now, my mom is hesitant at this point to tell my sister or I about this because uh, he has a habit of not showing up and it's just disappointing for everybody all around. Um, and so she did. She figures this is actually going to happen. So she tells my sister and me, and my sister, who always absolutely adored my dad, our dad, uh, she you know <laughs> grabbed the kitchen chair and dragged it off to the end, dragged it off to the end of the driveway to wait for him. Um, and so she was out there waiting and waiting and waiting. And memories being what they are, I don't know exactly how long she sat, she sat there and waited for him. But I know it was like in the order of a couple of hours, right? She was just so happy. And I was skeptical at this point because I'd been through this a few times with my dad. And so I can remember being outside and it was just luck that I was standing out there looking at the end of the driveway um, when a vehicle went by and we lived on a dirt road, you could hear them coming from quite a ways. And so I looked up and a truck drove by and it was my dad with a bunch of other guys that were going fishing. But instead of stopping to visit, um, my dad just, they just drove past the end of the driveway. And I don't specifically remember if my dad was looking at my sister or me. I remember him, seeing him looking up towards the house and they just kept driving and never stopped. And my dad never showed up that weekend. And I just, I remember that as being, I remember it as being a moment where something very fundamental in me changed with regards to, uh, I don't know. I mean, I was, I was very young, but I realized at that point that my father was not somebody that I wanted to be like. And now, continuing on uh, <laughs> throughout the many, many years to come, I, that was sort of reinforced. But that this story, the point of this story is that that was sort of a, a, a solidifying moment for me with regards to how I viewed my father or how uh, it really kind of defined the nature of what I expected from him or what I was planning on giving him in terms of a relationship. And over the course of many years, from sort of from that moment onward, I really began to learn who I didn't want to be as an adult. I mean, now I was pretty young at this point, so I didn't really understand that concept all that well. But over time, what I really understood is that, if anything, my father helped me to define the person I didn't want to be. And it's kind of an odd gratitude because it might seem in some ways as though this is kind of like a dig at him, but it's not. I mean, I've, I've long since come to grips with the fact that while, you know, he is, while I owe half of my, <laughs> my genetic data to him, that, uh, that he didn't raise me, that my personality, he didn't give me anything for my personality, right? Like that had come that has come up almost entirely from my mother, 
The one thing he did give me, though, was a very strong lesson of who I didn't want to be when I grew up. And so that's what today's gratitude is about. I am very, I'm very grateful, albeit sad, that I had to learn this particular lesson, but I am very grateful that uh, the one thing that he was able to give me was showing me who not to be as an adult. And that's this gratitude.